it was a pleasure to work for George because George knew what he wanted. Um, a, a real film buff, obviously, uh, and demanding without being unreasonable, and really raised the raised the bar. I mean, we shot pretty pretty high on 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 both that and Empire Strikes Back, and you would you might go to George and say, you know what, this shot it just really isn't working. It's it. I can't make it. I can't make it work. And he'd say, "You know what? Give it one more try. One more try." And it was enough. His confidence in you was enough for you to go back and find that extra step and do it and bring it to that level. And that's 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 not always the case in filmmaking. It's. Uh, there are many times when the trust isn't there, and when the trust isn't there, that makes it very, very difficult. And I don't think you can necessarily achieve your best work unless somebody else has confidence. If you're battling somebody else going, I don't know if you can do it, it's gonna be hard for you to overcome that. Did you think that first Star Wars would be the success that it became? No. I'd like to say sure, you know. <laughs> Uh, there were times, uh, I, I mean, George was very s secretive about the cut. There, was no, there were no scripts. So you're working on these sh shots with uh, this, this guy who's kind of dressed like a cowboy and, he, and he's in this kind of flying saucer shaped ship with a, with a monkey as a co-pilot. And you're just kind of going, okay, you know, I'm sure the kids might like it. It'll be co cool, I guess, but, you know, I'm not going to. You know, tell my friends I'm working on it. Then the first trailer came out, and the trailer was a big hit, uh, and that, that was spring. And we would be working late, and, and it would be getting kind of, you know, is this worthwhile? And so we'd just run up to the projection room, throw on the trailer, and get all psyched up again and go back to work.